In today's video, I'm going to share with you my top five tips for Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and my channel is focused on helping you get better at Madden. And so if that interests you, what I want to encourage you to do is I want to encourage you to join our Discord server below. The link will be in the description. It'll also be in the comments of this video. And let's just jump in. So the top five ways to improve for Madden 21. So basically, these are the things that I would say if you're winding down in Madden NFL 20, you want to be focusing on these five things before August. Okay, this is what I would focus on before before Madden comes out. Number one, the first thing that you want to focus on is to improve is to practice with playbooks that won't change. Practice with playbooks that won't change. So what I mean by that is a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll use specific, specific formations. I'm guilty of it. We're all guilty of it, right? I like Arizona. There's no guarantee that Arizona is going to have the same stuff. More than likely it will because Cliff Kingsbury is still going to be there. They're probably even going to expand on it. But also think about the people that are running um, New England-based playbook, right? Or whatever it may be. A lot of times, those playbooks are suspect to change, especially with coaching changes. So the playbooks that see the least amount of overhaul every single year are the default playbooks. That's why you see me right now. I'm in the shotgun spread formation um, out of the spread playbook, right? So run and shoot, run and gun, spread, west coast. Those playbooks don't see a lot of change year to year. So if you're wanting to practice and prepare your scheme, what I would encourage you to do just to get ready, is to practice it with a default book. On defense, you'll see this even more so, because defense is so um, year to year, right? It's, it's, it's so critically based on the formation. So a lot of people... A lot of people on defense, what they'll do at the beginning of the year, and this may be something good for you, is they'll run nickel normal. So what I would, in combination with like dollar or dime 236 or dime 146. So what I would recommend is to get some type of default playbook that has the nickel normal in combination with maybe the dollar three two six or the dime one four six or whatever because the meta the the meta uh, quote unquote which is like kind of the 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 most effective way to play the game that is going to change year to year right so I'll give you an example me throwing this corner out right me throwing this corner out you see I'm consistently able to throw the corner out now, I don't know if that's going to work next year, right? Zones may play that. The deep corner may jump down on it. They may do a lot of different things. A lot of the glitches, a lot of like a lot of like cover three bombs or cover two bombs, more than likely probably won't work the same. Now, they probably still work to a degree, and there will definitely be cover two and cover three bombs. But some of the specific ways to play the game, that's going to go away with the new game. So that's why I say use a default play. Playbook. The number two thing that I would say um, as far as the top five tips to improve for Madden NFL 20 is to practice with head-to-head -head teams. Practice with head-to-head -head te head -head teams. The reason I say that is because the first Madden tournament of every year is the Madden Classic and it's regs. It's head-to-head -head teams. The reason that I like to suggest to practice with head-to-head -head teams is because more than likely what's going to happen at the beginning of Madden 21, you're going to want to play head-to-head -head teams. So it doesn't make a lot of sense to be practicing with your Mutt team when you're going to ultimately be playing with your regs team. Now, some of you may be Mutt all the time, and I understand that, but I'm just saying the game plays a lot different on regs because you don't have 99 overalls everywhere on the field zones play a little bit differently man coverage plays a little bit differently there's a lot of different things that occur within that the third step to improve for madden nfl 21 is i don't care what skill level you are but what i want to encourage you to do is get in some type of yellow zone like this right have a defense where it's either cover four or cover two and he's in the yellow zone and what i want to encourage you to do is to practice usering him to practice using him. And how you, what I mean by that is your job is to manually control that player and to basically what people will call lurk with him. But essentially what you're going to do is you're going to jump to routes. You're going to jump to routes. And then you're going to just practice the mechanics of that because that is so, so critical to your success every single year in Madden. It's a, it's a very, very significant uh, feat. 
feature in the game every single year. So I want to encourage you to use your linebacker or if you really want to use her safety. That's also why I like the nickel 335 because you can put a safety at linebacker and now you've got really, really good abilities on him. He's got really, really good agility and user and all that. One of the things I want to... and. Off of that, the third thing I want to say is when you're using a defender, when you're using a defender, practice having assignments. So you've got to think through what is my job as the user? What is my what is my assignment? A lot of times people use or somebody, I'm guilty of this too, but they don't actually have an assignment that they give themselves. So for example, if I'm in Tampa 2 and I'm in a mid and, and I put this uh, all these zones on the field, right? Something like this, then I know my assignment is right in this gap, right in here, these little little underneath routes, and then I'm going to try to basically lurk this right here because I know my zones are going to take care of everything else. So that's another tip. The fourth thing that I would say that you could do to improve for Madden NFL 20 is to stop running and start passing. Stop running and start passing. The reason I say that is because I believe that Madden NFL 21 is going to be a very pass-based offense, uh, offensive type of game. And if you if you go back to like Madden 19, Madden 18, you go back to some of the older Maddens. That will show you a little bit more of what the pass, what I believe the passing game is going to look like. You're going to, you're going to be able to throw flat routes galore. So this is something, if you practice that, if you practice that in Madden 20 where it's very difficult to do it, when you get on Madden 21, you're going to feel like your work and everything you've done has paid off. For example, if I try to throw this and then I... Work on my work on your rat catches. That's what I'm trying to say in the flats. But work on throwing flat routes. Work on your passing. Madden 20 is a very run-based, defensive-based game. But what I'm going to suggest to you is if you work on your passing in Madden 20, where it's very, very difficult to pass, when you get to Madden 21, you're going to see a significant amount of improvement because a lot of D or a lot of defenses in Madden NFL 21 are not going to be very effective against the pass. Promise you that. And also, you know, there's a lot of talk about the zones and how the zones play in Madden NFL 21. Go through, and the last tip that I would say for you on defense is get back to basics and get back to basics in general. We're actually going to start a series here on the channel. That's why I'd like to encourage you to join our Discord or to subscribe to the channel so that, that way you can stay up to date. But every year, Vince Lombardi, when he would coach the Green Bay Packers, he'd walk in training camp and he would he would say, gentlemen, this is a football. What he meant by that and the reason it was so important that he did that, he retaught the basics every single year. And the reason he did that, number one, he wanted to keep it simple for his guys so that they could focus on executing it. And then number two, the, the second, and I believe even closer of a, of a reasoning, is because he wants his players to master the fundamentals and understand that every year is a new year. Every year is a new opportunity. And so with Madden 21 right around the quarter, one of the things I want to encourage you to do is to get back to basics in all ways. What I mean by that is to learn all the coverages. Go into practice mode, learn all the coverages. What does cover three match do? What does cover three do? What does cover four do? What's open against those things? All right. What is a three deep, three under blitz? What is a two, what is a two deep, five under blitz? What does a um, max protection look like? How do I do these basic things? How do you slide with your quarterback? You know, we're going to talk about that on the channel soon. How do I, how do I, how, what does ID the mic do? What does all of these basic mechanics in the games do? Because what I think happens is throughout the course of the year, we think we know and we rely on old data. We don't actually relearn the new game. We treat Madden 20 like it's Madden 18, like it's Madden 12, like it's Madden 11. And the funny part is it's Madden 20 because we've never mastered the fundamentals. So again, my five my five steps to improve. Number one is to um, get back to using like standard playbooks. In my opinion, that would be the the base playbooks that you know aren't going to change. And if you're going to use a head coach's playbook, make sure that head coach is actually going to be there in 2021. And then also, um, I would suggest playing on regular head to head mode regular head-to-head -head mode with teams, unless you're going to always play Mutt. But again, Mutt's going to have to be relearned. Mutt's going to play much more like regs in the beginning of the year because the players aren't 99 overall, right? 
Um, on head to head, what I like about head to head is I think it's all about your X's and O's and your scheme because you you don't have everyone has the same base players. Um, the, the other thing that I would suggest that you do is to start passing more, to start passing more. And the reason I say start passing more, if, even if you're a runner, to start passing more, because I really believe because of how much backlash Madden took this year for making it so run focused, I really believe next year's game is going to be very much so run focused or pass focused. And that's why I want to encourage you to work on your low ball hitches, your high point passes, your deep posts, your deep corners or whatever the other step other uh, tip that i would have for you is to make sure that if you're using the defensive line currently i want to encourage you to use the linebacker and again work on your assignment what is your assignment and do your job as a user and every play call that you have you have an assignment as a user the question is whether or not you do it because most of the time if you execute your assignment as the user you're going to be you're going to be really really better off again so just kind of understand your assignment as a user and then the last thing that I would suggest that you do is get back to basics. Go back to the fundamentals. Relearn the basics of the game. What is a possession catch? What is a swerve catch? What is what does that mean? Because most of the time what we do is we get a little bit better every year in Madden 20 or in every Madden. We just don't carry it over because we don't keep the basics the basics. The basics of leverage, the basics of pass protection, the basics of all of those different things that can then inform us in Madden NFL 21. So anyways, I hope these five things will help you as you go about preparing for Madden NFL 21 and if you would like to kind of become a little bit more connected with the things I do again I just would encourage you to join our discord server we're going to be giving away a free offensive and defensive guide at the end of the once we hit 100 members in that server whenever that may be so thanks for watching